Hi, Lori Morse, your guide in creating a healthy heart. Last video we talked about this idea of like a PTSD for the heart. It's called in medicine broken heart syndrome and it can happen from any kind of stressful event or loss or grief or a heartbreak and that doesn't have to mean literally a romantic heartbreak as much as anything that just hasn't come to pass that has broken our heart. It could be world events. And one of the things that I uh, was really interested in discovering when I was doing the research for my book Reverse Heart Disease Naturally is that there are some there's a handful there's a lot of leading cardiologists who who understand that while modern medicine has come really a long way when it comes to saving lives and keeping hearts beating whether it's through pacemakers or stints or angioplasty or any of the uh, modern medical miracles and they are that <laughs> that keep a person alive when it comes to heart heart failure or heart attack or a heart heart event the other thing that these cardiologists understand is that it that physical medical part it can only go so far and that tending to the emotional and the spiritual and the social and the creative elements of heart health need to be at the leading edge of the new heart health paradigm. We can't leave that out anymore, otherwise we will only get so far with modern medicine because even as far along as modern medicine has come, there's still too many people dying of heart events and that those numbers are not lowering, they're rising. So these cardiologists, and then I started doing the same thing, started asking the question, well, why is that? What is missing? And what, some of the key missing pieces are the, the absolute requirement of tending to all emotional energy that is ready to be healed, released, transformed, and let go, and creating um, uh, social connections that are love-based, and tending to our creativity, because that's literally like being in relationship with our heart, and uh, creating a, a healthy spiritual connection. And I talk about all of this in my book, Reverse Your Heart Disease Naturally, The Woman's Guide to Not Die Before Your Time. I'm really devoted to um, ensuring that all the wisdom and the intelligence and the life experience that a woman has gathered in the first half of her life as she traverses the second half of her life, that she doesn't die too soon and take that with her, but rather she gives it to herself. She gives it to her immediate circle, her family, her friends, and into the broader world, um, just like the butterfly effect. We can't not uh, affect the greater world when we affect ourselves in positive, healthy, and transformative ways. And so one of the other cardiologists has learned over her decades of practice that each heart has a biography, a language, and a method of revealing its truth if we know how to listen. And that's the key. And, and there's, and that, that language, that biography, those are often part of our stories. And when we have a way of moving that, our stories and our biographies and the language of our heart out, then there can be healing and there can be transformation. And some of the language of the heart includes, as I already said, story, image, symbol, creativity, meditation can be very important, and really important being witnessed. And that's why I call myself a guide. Uh, in creating a healthy heart because part of what one of the powerful things I do is witness people so that their stories their hearts can transform their emotional energy that maybe they've held stuck um, for for so long that's ready to be released uh, can can actually happen and I've been doing that for 25 years and it, I can attest it's really powerful it's really um, I, you know, I don't want to use the word magical, but it, it often feels that way. Like there's little nuggets of miracles in being witnessed. And anytime you've ever just had someone truly listen to you, then you know that that alone is healing, let alone whatever else comes after that. So I've learned that each story, each heart has a story to tell and that this story is literally dying to get out, you know, like the stuff that we've stuffed and we've 
um, swept under the carpet. And when those emotions feel safe in coming out, uh, then that's where the pain can literally be untangled and healed. So, and it's, you know, it's really um, a willingness. One just has to come to the place where they're willing to no longer be suffocated by their pain, but rather find ways for it to come out and be, um, and, and create a spaciousness for her to actually breathe and live more in her, in her centered and peaceful self. So, um, you know, it's no accident that the word, the French word for heart is cur, and that is the root word for courage. And it does take courage to do our emotional healing. But I can tell you that mustering up even just a little bit of courage and doing it, of course, with, with a guide or a, a healer or a, a witness, someone who will witness you makes it a lot easier to do. I know that's been true for myself. Um, then, then the courage tends to arrive and be there and the, the healing and the transformation is actually easier than we thought going in. It's like, oh, well, that wasn't so bad. Let's do that again. <laughs> Where's the next piece? And what I know is that our heart is very graceful, very gentle about um, bringing to our conscious awareness what is next and what is a good next piece to transform. And the more we keep stuffing it, the harder it becomes. The more we resist it, the more difficult it becomes. And then that's when we sort of throw our hands up and say, I give up. You know, that's where... Um, that's where life gets our attention. So I am calling you forth and I'm asking you to simply be present to what's up for you and be willing to um, tend that emotional energy in gentle and loving ways, compassionate ways with yourself. And if you need a witness, if you need a guide, if you need someone to hold sacred space for you, uh, then let me know. That is what I am really good at. And in our next uh, video together, we will talk about how research, what research is showing around this emotional uh, and spiritual and social and uh, creative connection uh, is why it's so important. Okay, so until then.